Hello everyone, this is Arnava Chaudhary and you are back on my YouTube channel, Arun Foot. Today I want to ask the question, should FSTL enforce the salary cap in the Indian Super League? We've discussed this a number of times on my lives and a lot of people have asked this question, rising salaries, especially of Indian players, astronomical salaries being paid, what kind of influence can the league take on this matter? Now, the first problem I feel that there is in the Indian Super League is that there are numerous loopholes where you can make contracts in such a way that, for example, certain loan deals don't come in, you have certain external payouts, signing on fees, other things. Of course, you have marquee players as well in the sense of that two players are out of that bracket. And uh, yeah, and um, the salary cap has increased from 16 and a half to 18 crores. But we know that some of the teams are spending a lot, lot more on the salaries of the players. And it seems like I realize also from conversations with people at different teams and franchises that there is a little bit of unrest, especially with the big two from Kolkata sp splashing so much of cash in this transfer window or Mohun Bagan has been doing this or rather the, the, the Goenka backed franchise has been doing this for quite a while. And the question now is, again, can, should FSDL step in and be a little bit more stringent with its salary cap. Increase it to a realistic level and then say, stay within it. I want a complete overview of what you're spending on players and then enforce it. Because otherwise, with the limited talent pool that we currently have, especially regarding Indian players, the salaries will rise even further. And on the other side, the quality of foreigners is getting better, but we are overspending on these foreigners. Otherwise, you would not be tempting these players to come to Indian shores. Yeah, it's a chicken and egg thing. It's a catch-22. What do you do? What can you do? And that's the challenge that FSTL has. And I also know from the clubs and the franchisees that a lot of them have addressed this problem internally and they've discussed it but none of these teams have actually properly gone to FSTL so it's yeah it's one of those unanswered questions that are there but nobody wants to touch it because yeah the clubs are bleeding all franchises are bleeding not only in the ISL but I think the whole Indian football system is bleeding because to recoup your expenses is a very very tough uh, enterprise and you know that a lot of team owners club owners don't really get the credit that they're able to keep their clubs running year on year what do you think should fsdl step in and enforce the salary cap or should they allow it to continue to be the way it is yeah give me your thoughts uh, let's discuss it and um, as always like this video, share this video with people, let more people join our conversations. Also subscribe to Arun Foot. And this is Arnava Chaudhary signing off and I'll be back very, very soon. Bye for now.